Are you an exchange user? Or an exchange server admin looking for a tool to recover deleted exchange EDB mailboxes or to exchange mailboxes to live exchange server, Outlook, or Office 365? Still confused which cost-effective and efficient software to use? We brings you the best solution for you. SysTools Exchange Recovery Software Let's check out the main features of our software. Our software lets you recover Exchange Mailboxes to Live Exchange Server, MS Outlook, and Office 365. The software supports recovery of deleted emails from Exchange EDB Mailboxes. Supports recovery from dismounted and offline EDB files. Supports Exchange Server 2016, 13, and all below versions. Now let's install and run the software. In the home screen, click on the Add File button on the top left corner. There are two radio button options to select files. The first option is the Select File. And the next one is the Search File option. Now let's choose the Select File option first. Then select EDB file from the Field option. After selecting the file, click Open. Now if required, select STM file manually. If private and public STM files are in the same location as EDB files, the software will select STM file automatically. In this example, let's select the STM file manually and click Open button. Then below you can see Quick Scan option. Use this option if the file is having minimum corruption. And Advanced Scan option. Use this option if the file is highly corrupted. In the storage folder location, all scanning related data will be stored. You can save scanning time for previously scanned files if you don't delete this folder. After that click Add button to proceed to export files. Now let's check out the search file option. Choosing search file option will select all the supported files from your system. Below, you can see the search all drive radio button selected. This option lets you select all the EDB files from your system. You can also search for files from a selected drive. From the drop down option, you can choose the desired disk partition. In the storage folder location, all scanning related data will be stored. You can save scanning time for previously scanned files if you don't delete this folder. Then click search button and the software will start searching for files. After the search completes, a small window appears and click OK. Then choose the desired file you need by selecting the radio button. Now click add button. The files will start loading. After the file loads successfully, click OK. Here you can see the mailbox folders will appear. Then select the desired folder you need to export and double click the folder and the files will appear on the right side. And below you can see the normal mail view and attachment details of any chosen mail. Now choose the files you want to export by selecting the checkbox option. Then right click and select the export button. Now you can see export option window appears. You can see different export type options here. After choosing the desired export type option and entering all the other details, you can click export button to start exporting. Now let's check out the bulk export option. Let's select the load scan option from the navigation menu. This option lets you load any previously scanned files in the software. Select the previously scanned file and click load button. The files will start loading. After the file loads successfully, click OK. Here you can see the mailbox folders will appear. 
then select the Export button on the top navigation menu. From the Export Type window, you can select the checkbox option to choose single or multiple folders. On the right, you can see multiple export type options. First is the PST option. Selecting this option lets you export files as PST. Next is the PDF option. This option lets you export files as PDF. Then comes the MSG option. This option lets you export files as MSG. After that comes the EML option, which is applicable only for mails. Then comes the HTML option. This option lets you export files as HTML. After that comes the Live Exchange option to import files to Online Exchange Mailbox. And then comes the Office 365 option. This option lets you export files in a chosen Office 365 account. Now for example, let's choose this option and see how to export files using this option. Click Advanced Settings button. And here you can see the Office 365 settings. From the General Settings, you can choose the Date Filter checkbox option to apply Date Filter from the drop-down. And below you can select or deselect the Categories checkbox options according to your requirements. Now let's select the Office 365 settings. The Office 365 account has to be impersonated in order to export files with impersonation option. Now select the user impersonation checkbox option. Clicking on the link will open up a new page in a new tab. And there you can see how to apply impersonation videos for different exchange versions. After selecting the user impersonation checkbox option, in order to export files using with impersonation, you have to enter the Office 365 admin ID details and password in the respective fields below. If you are using the without impersonation option, you can leave the field blank. After that click Save button. A small window appears with success message and click OK. The user can export the EDB files using two options. The first option is the Enter Destination Mailbox option. You have to enter the valid Office 365 ID credentials in the next page. And below, you will find option to provide the destination Office 365 account from a CSV file. You can choose this option if you are having multiple mailboxes to export. There is option to auto-generate the CSV file by clicking the auto-generate CSV link. Now let's see the auto-generated CSV file. Here you can see the list of selected mailboxes to export. And you have to enter the destination mailbox details in the respective field. Entering the password is optional. After entering the details, save the CSV file in the location of your choice. Then click OK. After that you have to click Browse button. To select the CSV file from the same location where you have saved the file. Then click Open button. Then you can see the Ignore System Folders option selected by default. Click the blue link to know about system folders. And below you can see the Maintain Folder Hierarchy checkbox, selected by default. Now click Next button, to proceed to export the files. Here you can see, each mailboxes, will be validated by the software in the process. After the validation process gets over, click Export button. Now you can see the files will be exported. After the export process completes, click OK. Then you can see the export report window appears. Click Save button to save the export report in CSV format. Then click Save button and click OK. You have successfully exported the files. Click Cancel button and then Yes to close the window.
Now let's see the output file location. Open your Office 365 destination account. Here you can see, the exported mailbox is in hierarchical order. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Log on to the given product page for more details and purchasing the product. For any query, mail us to support at systilsgroup.com. Thank you for watching.